What's up, singers and actors? I'm Sean Royer from Los Angeles, California. I'm a talent development specialist, and I make stars every day in my Los Angeles studios and online. So today, we're going to talk about a voice teacher that I actually really like. His name's Tristan Paradis, and he is reacting to one of my students, which he says is the best technically trained student that he's ever singer he's ever heard. And his name is Anthony Gargiula. So first of all, let me just tell you about my brief meeting with Tristan. So, you know, I've been teaching, I've been teaching for like 20 years and I'm doing the same stuff, and, you know, and kind of getting bored with my regular routine. And I see this young guy on YouTube and his name's Tristan and he's just bashing voice teachers all over the place. Tristan, I got a lot of phone calls about you. So I decided what I would do is just check him out and see what he had to say. And although a lot of my contemporaries hated him, I loved what he had to say. He brought contemporary vocal technique to YouTube when only traditional technique was being taught. And so I actually called up and had a lesson with him and he was great. What happened after that is he inspired me to go on and get more contemporary voice training. And I went and I studied CVT with teachers and Estill vocal training with teachers. And then I used that to augment what was already a very successful career in teaching voice. And one of my students, was recently on the four, and his name's Anthony Gargiula. And I started teaching him back in the day when he was Ellen's most talented kid. Before I tell you more about Anthony Gargiulo, what I'd love for you to do is like and subscribe and also tell me who your favorite The Four competition competitor is. All right, well, I met Anthony when he was about nine years old and he was just crowned Ellen's most talented kid and was following her around on the red carpet doing American Idol and stuff. And from there, I was his vocal coach and his performance coach and we did shows like Caroline Sunshine and for Disney, and he actually even came to my studio in Texas, he lived in New York, and um, opened up my singing studio there. And Anthony is one of the most talented singers that I've ever met, and I wish I could take credit for what he's become, but no, he had it from the very beginning, and I just assisted and taught him a few things. And not only is he a nice guy, but he has a wonderful family as well. Well, anyway, let's see what Tristan has to say about Anthony. He not only has he been on The Four, which is like a singing talent competition, but I mean, like, it's so funny because he's gotten 300,000, 100,000 views from being on that TV talent show, as opposed to 10 million views from being on James Charles's show. Ooh, Havana, na -na. Half of my heart is in Havana, na -na. Who else thinks that Sister James should start a singing competition? He would kill American Idol. That would be so funny, actually, like a YouTube like singing competition, like American Idol thing. Wouldn't that? Move you, you love it how I touch you, my one. I never heard him sing an Oscar Okay, so one of the things that Tristan said is that he's never heard Anthony sing an off-pitched note, and it's because Anthony has nearly perfect pitch. And I remember when I was working with him when he was a kid, if like he would actually stop singing, then sing a wrong note. So yeah, he just doesn't sing wrong notes. It's so good. Okay, this is pretty good. This is God is a Woman. Like, no joke, he's one of the most, like, technically talented vocalists that I like that I've ever heard. I'm trying to compare to other artists. Thank you. Let's go. I'm trying to compare to other artists that I, I can think of, but I just can't. The notes that he's hitting are so ridiculously high, and there's no effort there. Like, nothing. Okay. Around you, say baby, I love you if you 
And those runs are just ridiculous. All right, cool. Let me teach you how I teach runs. All right, so I teach runs as part of vibrato training. And most people know vibrato as the oscillating pitch, like, ah, right? But there's two types of vibrato. And there's another kind of vibrato called a hammer vibrato, which is kind of like a machine gun, like, ha, or Elmer Fudd, right? So what I do is I teach first how to do the Elmer Fudd, and then we start putting it on notes. And then we start changing the notes and changing the speed of the hammer vibrato. And that's how I teach people how to get really, really clean runs. The other trick, which all my students do, is I make them listen to a lot of saxophone music because saxophones have the best uh, musical runs. And if you can learn those, you'll have a great air for doing runs like Anthony does. <laughs> Let's see what else is going on. I saw him doing, uh, there's a chandelier cover from him down here. So this one is like a year old at this point, so just keep that in mind. I don't think it's going to be any less amazing though. Okay, now he's doing chandelier. Those runs! Okay, so those high notes that Anthony's doing, it's uh, called a head anchor. And what I'd like to talk about is like, let's say you have a high note and you really want to sing it. Think about like there's people behind you talking crap about you and you need to listen, right? So, so when you have a high note, the first thing you're going to do is like listen to people sing, talking to you. So you just bring your head back, right? And then you sing the note like you're telling them to shut up right so your head goes back and then you sing the note like you're trying to tell them to shut up back kind of like backwards and that's how you hit some of those high notes is he gonna wait 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 wait, 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 wait. is he gonna be able to hit these high notes though because i feel like his voice can't go any higher than that this only has four thousand views this is on twitter though so i don't know Where do those notes come okay, from? Okay, so let me explain to you how, one of the things that he's doing. So let's rewind and look at that again. I don't know. Where do those notes come from? So when he bends down like that, what's happening is he's activating the diaphragmatic and the intercostals and all the muscles that help support. And it's like a trick. You'll see it all the time. When a, when a singer needs to hit a high note, they'll like bend over with the microphone like that. That's activating those muscles. And that's how you get those high notes out. All right, play. From. It's so easy. Wow, this is really good. Ridiculous. So let me point something out as well with his voice, because he's doing okay. a lot of the really technically good things that I talk about that singers should ideally do. So he chooses to use sort of really dark, low vowels. Not everybody needs to go that dark with their, their vowels in the lower range, but more often than not, your lower range is gonna have darker sounding tones and vowels than your upper range. But as you go up in pitch, you have to start moving towards more nasally sounding vowels, more bright sounding vowels. And that's exactly what he does. Push it down. Whoa. Oh my god, that runs so good. Follow yeah, his okay. So yeah, that's called modification. So um, as you sing higher, you have to uh, modify your vowels to actually get the, get the notes to be bright and placed correctly. And um, something that I do with my students, we call it aliens, and I'll tell you about that another time. Well, anyway, um, thanks, Tristan, for a great review of Anthony, and I'm so proud of him. He's just another one I've had on these TV shows. I've had 14, I think, in total, from American Idol to Candy Factory to um, X Factor to America's Got Talent. So if you want to learn more, just go ahead and 
drop me a note and tell me what you want, to, want me to talk about and I will talk about it. And don't forget, you can always visit my website, soundcheckartist.com. And until next time, remember my motto, when you count the stars, I hope you count yourself first.